We've been on a road trip to discover how the craft of design has been changing in response to 21st century technologies. Not even the people who are designing these systems know how they work. Um, there's an incredible amount of ambiguity and mystery in how they work. And that is extraordinarily problematic. What we can actually do now with AI is new. Our capabilities of what we can build, what we can process, and its portability is brand new. But the ideas are actually very old. It is a material. It isn't something to throw your hands up at and go, oh, you know, it's a black box or it's magic or whatever it is. It's, it's phenomena an assemblage, material, and you can poke at it just like anything else. I think of, of, of software in general um, as, a, as a medium, and I think of different programming languages as different materials. Some are fluid, some are rigid, some are good for sketching. The actual kind of synthetic biology, this sort of engineering stuff, is still complex. So the dream of it being kind of easy to do and anyone would be able to do it hasn't quite materialized. If you studied design in the 90s, with the traditional craft-based approach of working hands-on with physical materials, you realized that products and architecture were going to change very quickly, very soon. They were going to have software in them. They were going to be connected. They were going to be interactive. How can the 21st century designer maintain their ability to sketch in a hands-on way when the tools and materials of today are growing rapidly in complexity and opacity, like machine learning or synthetic biology? In the past, the designer had to play three roles. They had to at once be the artist who decided what to make and what forms they should have. They had to be the tradesperson who, through thousands of hours of handwork, had an intimate understanding of materials and tools. And they had to be the technician who could design and build new tools when the ones of the past wouldn't allow us to make the things we wanted to in the future. How can the designer today maintain their position between the laboratories creating new materials and tools every day and the online retailers shipping new products every night. How can we design the products of the future with the materials and tools of today? We have to create simulations, future fictions and films, and we need to create new forms of partnerships with scientists, technologists, policymakers, and others. We've traveled around to interview artists, designers, and engineers, and we call this project Design Nonfiction. How do we design regulations? We as designers need to have more and more an ethical foundation. Why are we doing it? For whom we are doing it? And what's the impact over a time span which goes beyond my perceived lifespan? You need to bring poetry into everyday life, into what you design for everyday life. There's a very important responsibility to provide the rest of us with an imagination for this world that scientists haven't yet described. <laughs>